You're a genealogist with French-Canadian lines, and you don't read French. I'd be willing to bet you've run into the following situation. Someone tells you about a website that sounds totally awesome. It sounds like it might have just the information you need to break through your brick wall. So you click on the link and... What's this? You can't read it. All that wonderful information you were hoping to access just out of reach. It's in French, and you haven't parlayed a bit of French in a long time, if ever. Do you feel like everyone else is moving forward in their research and you keep falling behind? Do you sometimes feel like, no matter how many documents you find, you're just never going to make it to the top of the hill? Hi, this is Sandra Goodwin from Maple Stars and Stripes, your French-Canadian genealogy podcast at maplestarsandstripes.com. This doesn't have to be the end of your research. Here are some possible solutions to your problem. The obvious solution is to look for a link to an English translation of the website. Click on this and voila, you can read the page. Sometimes the link will be an English or American flag instead of text. The problem is, in any given website, usually not all the pages have been translated into English for you, especially some of the deep links. Check the links in the French language menu and compare that with the links in the English language menu. Sometimes the English side provides a lot less vital information. Another solution is to use Google Translate at https colon slash slash translate dot google dot com. Set the language on the left to French and the one on the right to English. Then copy and paste a French passage into the box on the left. Click Translate and there you have it. A fairly decent translation, at least enough to hopefully get the gist of the meaning. Now that's okay for a paragraph or even a web page, but what if you'll be looking at multiple web pages all that copying and pasting is enough to give anyone a headache. Is there another solution that will save some time? Yes, there is. The Translate feature on the Google Toolbar. It will instantly translate pages for you with its automatic language detection feature. Now, if you use Chrome as your browser, you're all set. The Translate feature is built in. Just type in the URL. When this box pops up, click Translate and you're all set. For those of you who use Internet Explorer, you can accomplish the same thing once you've installed the Google Toolbar. After you set it up, whenever you bring up a French language website, wait a few seconds and there you have it. The French site is automatically translated into English. Page after page after page. Do you think this will save you time? Then download the Google Toolbar at www.google.com slash toolbar. View the terms and conditions and the privacy policy and decide whether you want Google as your default search engine and home page. If you don't, just unclick them. Then click Accept and Install. After restarting your computer, answer a couple of setup boxes and you're ready to go. You should see the Google toolbar across the top of your screen. If it's missing or to enable or disable the toolbar at any time, go to View, Toolbars, Google Toolbar and toggle on or off. Enable it and you're ready to save time. You'll now see the Translate icon in the toolbar. Click it and a Translate button appears to the right of your screen. The next time you are on a French language website, click that Translate button and the page will appear in English. Click the checkbox next to Always Translate French and from here on, anytime you bring up a French language site, 
just blink. When you open your eyes, you'll be reading English. You can toggle back and forth if you need to. It's that easy. Hope you get some use from that tip. For other tips, be sure to listen to the Maple Stars and Stripes podcast and join the email list at www.maplestarsandstripes.com newsletter. See you soon.